one, two, three. Hi friends, happy Monday. It is the start of a new week and I'm feeling really positive going into it. I didn't have any alcohol this weekend, so I think that's contributing to feeling just like fresh and rested and we're just feeling good. So let's try and bring that into this week. I'm just having a little bit of coffee to start the morning. I'm doing the pumpkin spice cake Nespresso coffee with the silk pumpkin creamer. This is she and she is stunning. She's so good, I'm almost done. I'm working from home today. Um, I'm just starting off slow, it's about 9.30. I just like check my emails, check my calendar, see what's up for the day. I've got three meetings and some work to do, so I'm just crushing it out or like starting to. And I wanted to mention, so yesterday I washed my hair and did it, and I'm really trying to wash my hair only once a week. And I'm also trying to cut back on how much heat I use on my hair because I am trying to grow it out. I used to have hair that was like, pretty much down to my butt and it's definitely growing quite a bit um, I've made a lot of progress but I want to grow it as long as I can get it so I'm trying to cut down on the amount of heat and one thing that I really struggle with is sleeping I'm like kind of a sweaty sleeper TMI but whatever and so my hair always gets like all messed up and I've tried a couple of different ways I've tried doing like a loose bun on the top of my head with um, one of those like coily elastics and that works pretty well um, but yesterday I was just on TikTok and I was looking at a bunch of techniques that people use and first of all we have to give credit where credit is due our friends in the black community have been wrapping their hair and you know wearing protective styles and basically taking care of their hair um, for like a long time before us white girlies and other people um, have jumped on that train. So just want to mention that because that is important. But I, a lot of people will wrap their hair in like a silk bonnet or in a silk scarf or a silk scrunchie. And yesterday I was looking to see what I had and I only had a silk scrunchie. So I have this scrunchie. I actually got it from my hairdresser and I thought that I would try it. So what I did is I put my, I flipped my hair upside down. I put it in like a loose top knot and then I put this on and I, I, di I didn't wrap it around like twice. I only wrapped it around one time or I guess I only like placed it like this. <laughs> um, and it was quite loose, but I felt like if I was I just like laid down and fell asleep. It might like loosen up a bit, but generally it would stay. And it turned out really well. I wish that um, I wish that this was a tiny bit tighter so that I could like put it on once and it would just like stay a little bit more. So I might try and find another one, but it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna continue doing that because I want to try and maintain um, this like curl without having to use heat on it every single day. I'm good at not washing it, but I, I will often use heat the next day. And if you're using heat on your hair every single day, it like defeats the purpose of not washing it, I guess. Well, I don't know. I'm not a hair expert. But anyways, I just wanted to mention that. So that's what's new with me. I published my last weekly vlog yesterday and it was 35 minutes. And I asked you if you liked the longer vlogs and a couple of people commented and saying that you did. So we love that for us. I'm going to continue with the longer vlogs and I like it because I just love to talk. I just love to chat with y'all and then I can show you as much as I want and I don't have to cut things down as much. And when I first started YouTube, all of these resources were saying like, cut out anything that's unnecessary. But I figure that a lot of people give me feedback that when they're watching my videos, they put it on the background and it's kind of like I'm chilling with them. And if you were with a friend, they wouldn't be like cutting out all of their ums and breaths and everything. So I figure that this can be the style of video that I do. And I watch a lot of YouTubers that do that style. So I think that that's just what I'm gonna go with. And then, yeah, it's less work editing and it's just great. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to work. I just wanted to say hello and tell you about um, my recent hair discovery. Okay, so I have made some lentil shepherd's pie and my hack is whenever you're cooking, double the recipe. So I have these takeaway containers that I use when I bring stuff over for like a dinner and I just decided to put it in there because I think I'm gonna freeze one. 
but I just doubled the recipe and this made so much food so I'm really happy with that. This will also probably feed us for two dinners, like one of these. I'll link the recipe that I used in the description box. I kind of freestyled it a little bit, but it's based off of the one by Rainbow Plant Life and it's really good. The mashed potatoes are like miso mashed potatoes. It's like the secret ingredient that just gives it so much flavor. And I'm just really happy with it. So I got to put the mashed potatoes on. I'm just going to let this cool a little bit and then um, put one of them in the fridge, one of them in the freezer. But just wanted to mention that because I'm feeling good about that. Good morning. Oh, I forgot to put bronzer on. That's why I'm looking a little fair. Anyways, heading to the office. Pretty standard day. It's about 9 a.m. And I'm feeling good. I woke up early, listened to a podcast, hung out, made myself a smoothie. Um, what else? Showered, got ready. I touched up my hair a little bit this morning. I still did the same silk scrunchie. Oh, my door hit me. I still did the same silk scrunchie situation and it worked out well, but if I definitely needed to touch up some curls because they were, they were lacking. They were lacking to say the least. So um, it was mainly this side that was kind of all messed up. This side actually stayed really good. Does that happen to you? Is one side of your hair like better than the other? It's just like the way that it curls. Anyways, it's gonna be really nice out today. It feels like it's still summer and I just want fall weather. I have this little jacket on and I love this jacket. It's from Zara last year, but it's like an oversized white denim jacket and I just find it so versatile and I just love the way that it looks. It has like these big pockets and I just love it. So I'm wearing it right now, but later today it's gonna be way too hot for it. So I'm just wearing a t-shirt under this. I was gonna go to the gym tomorrow night. That's what I originally planned. But the way that like our meals have gone this week, I think that I'm actually gonna go tonight instead because, so you saw that I made that lentil shepherd's pie. I'm happy about that. I had to pop over to shoppers last night to get tin foil, which was really annoying because I didn't have any and I needed that to freeze the, the one. But I made that and then I also made pulled pork yesterday and I'm really excited about that. But I'm gonna do like a pulled pork hash where I'm gonna do um, peppers, onions, and potatoes with the pulled pork tomorrow. I made a lot of it, so it's probably gonna last us a while, but this is actually a recipe. So I went to my old coworker Jenna's housewarming party like last week, Mac and I did, and they had pulled pork and it was so good. And I was like, what is this recipe? And they said it was like the most basic recipe and they said a few things that was in it. So I Googled it and I was able to find it. I will link the recipe down below, but it's literally so easy. So you get like, this is the first time I've ever made pulled pork. Um, I didn't even know like what kind of meat to get <laughs> but apparently a pork shoulder boneless is the best kind to get so I got this big pork shoulder it was $20 pork is so much more affordable than other cuts of meat so I'm happy that I have this recipe now and you cut up an onion put it at the bottom of your crock pot then you put the pork on then you do salt pepper and onion powder it didn't say like how much of it so I kind of just eyeballed it and then you rub that on the pork then you pour in a can of Dr. Pepper. I had no idea, but apparently that's common. Like Coke or Dr. Pepper or root beer. That makes sense for like the sweetness, but I just, that was wild to me. I was like, excuse me? So you do that and then you put it in your slow cooker or your crock pot for, I did it on, cause I, I didn't do it in the morning. I did it like more in the afternoon. So I did high for like five to six hours. If you do low, you wanna do like eight hours, but I did it on high and then as it cooks, it first gets like really tough and then as it cooks, it starts to break apart and then you start to break it apart. And yeah, that was one thing that was a bit hard is I kept on checking it and I kept on like trying to pull it apart and it just like wasn't ready yet. And then near the end, it was pulling apart, but I still like, I was in there with like 
the forks and I don't know maybe if I just cooked it longer it just would do that naturally but anyways I'm excited to eat that but the moral of the story is the reason why I'm talking about this is that um, the lentil shepherd's pie is just ready to go so today when I get home from work I'm gonna go home change go to the gym then Mac can get the lentil shepherd's pie in the oven he can eat if he wants and then when I get back from the gym I will eat then Whereas with the pork, um, we still have to make like potatoes and peppers and onions. So we're going to do that tomorrow night. So anyways, I'm just, that's why I decided to go to the gym tonight. And I went to the gym last Tuesday night, like last week, and it was nice. So I'm going to do that again. And yeah, I may go Tuesday night and Thursday night. We've got plans on Friday night and then I'm going to go on Saturday. But I'm definitely going to go tonight and on Saturday potentially on Thursday in the middle, but we'll see. That's the flex day. That's the wild card. Anyways, I'm going to drive over to the office, drink my smoothie, and try and have a good day. I've been thinking about good times. So tell me all your words are. I believe them if I try. Okay, so I just made an extremely random breakfast. Um, this is what I made. It is a tortilla with pesto, two fried eggs, and I didn't have any vegetables in my fridge, so I used um, some artichoke hearts. Now I'm just adding hot sauce. And it should be pretty tasty, but is there a sriracha shortage? Because I heard a rumor that there was a sriracha shortage and we haven't been able to find it. And we got this like no-name one, but it's honestly very spicy, like spicier than sriracha and it just doesn't taste the same. So I'm disappointed about that. So I just got a delivery from a local PR company. So we're gonna open it together. Um, I can see that it is for the Calgary Women's Emergency Shelter. Very good cause. It says, open to reveal our brand evolution. Not quite my style, but again, a great cause. So let's continue. Looks like there's some information. It's a new campaign called Fear Is Not Love. This is great. Yeah, okay, this is awesome. Okay. Some little stickers that say fear is not love. And then, ooh. Ooh. Looks like a cookie. It's like a broken up cookie. Fear is not love. Every human has the right to feel respected, supported, loved, and safe. Okay, this is really nice. Thank you so much to Wild PR for sending this over to me. I'm definitely gonna get into this tonight and I'm gonna share it on Instagram because this is a very important cause. Okay, so it's after work now and Mac and I are going to look at cars. Um, not buying anything just yet, but um, I have been driving my car since I was 16. So it's been uh, 13, is that 13? It's been 13 years, 13 years. Oh my goodness. Anyways, um, it's almost time for a new car and I don't really know much about cars and the process really intimidates me. So, and I'm also really shy when it comes to things that I don't know anything about. So that's why I have Mac and he's gonna help me. And he was the one that suggested that we go tonight. So we're just gonna go to a couple of dealerships and just get my dip my toes in to just see what I like, what catches my eye and that'll be Step one. Good morning. Um, a couple of updates for you. So my hair, um, today is the first day that I feel like it's kind of getting greasy, but I washed it on Saturday and today's Thursday. So that's really good. So I put a little bit of a dry, I put a little bit of dry shampoo in it this morning and it's doing okay. It's just like kind of greasy at the roots, but anyways. And then I also took a flat iron and I kind of like straightened it a little bit so that there was the curls were less pronounced because now that it's kind of losing its shape, I feel like I needed to 
um, just like switch up the style a little bit. Anyways, that's my update there. I was thinking that I've been trying to wash my hair only once a week. I'm really good at washing it only twice a week, but once a week is like kind of a stretch for me, but my hair wash days on Saturday. So I only have today, tomorrow, and then I get to wash it. So today I'll be fine. Tomorrow's probably gonna be a bit of a struggle. And I also have to go to a couple of events. So that might be hard, but I might just like put in a ponytail. Anyways, that's the hair saga. A little jewelry update. Um, I'm really, I hate to report it, but the other day at the gym, I broke off my permanent bracelet. So I only had it on for a couple of weeks. If you have watched, if you're caught up on my vlogs, you know that I went to this event and I got a permanent bracelet and it was so cute and I loved it. But um, yeah, when I was at the gym, I was on the treadmill and I was so sweaty. So I took off my shirt um, to just have like my sports bra on and I should have been more careful, but like I caught my bracelet in, like I basically like caught my thumb in it and as I was taking off my shirt, it would just like snapped. So I'm really sad about that, but what can you do, right? Anyways, and then for the first time I wore this initial necklace and this one is from Ana Luisa. So this blue boho one I've been wearing every day. I've been keeping it on even when I'm showering. Um, I just like when I get out of the shower, I make sure to dry this area and dry this like right away so that there's no extra water that sits on it. But I've been keeping that one on. And then this one I just put on this morning and I really like it. I find the length to be really nice and I like the layering with these two. So um, another update is that we've, we have secured Ana Luisa as a sponsor of the YouTube channel. So I'm really excited for that. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I've got two necklaces from them currently and then I'm gonna get some more. And so I'll talk about them as a company a bit more in my next video or maybe two videos from now. I don't know, it'll depend on when the pieces ship. But anyways, um, I'm just chilling for a sec here and then I'm gonna head into work. Um, yeah, a couple of meetings this morning and then just do like a work day. Then we have a happy hour. We're celebrating a couple of birthdays this afternoon. And then um, I thought maybe I would go to the gym, but I think that I'm going to try and stick to my plan of going twice a week. So I'm going to do twice a week for like a month. So that means no gym tonight, just on Saturday. And then I'm going to do three times a week for the entirety of... Um, like mid-October to December, I want to do three times a week for like a long time and then in January I'm gonna start going four times a week So I'm hoping that giving myself a lot of time doing three times a week will get me into into a really good habit and that it won't be too hard for me to maintain and then January will Bump it up and then once I'm at four times a week like that. That's good. That is good for me I mean even three times a week is like amazing, but we're on the journey together. Okay, um, I had some questions about exactly what I do in the gym and for now um, Because I'm just getting back into it. I'm doing like what I feel like I've been doing like free weights I'm not really like a machine gal So like I've been doing like free weights exercises that I know from before when I used to work out and then also some cardio I've been doing 12 3 30, but I will let you in on this so 12 3 30 if you don't know it was this like I don't know It's not like a trend. It's like a workout style um, by Lauren Geraldo I believe her last name is and it's you go on the treadmill and it's incline 12 speed 3 for 30 minutes and it sounds like kind of simple but it's actually really hard and so what the first couple of times that I went to the gym I was doing 12 3 20 like I was only doing 20 minutes of that because I felt that that was really hard the other day I tried to push myself and I did 30 so I was really happy with that if you also think that 12 3 30 is hard even though everyone on social is doing it and it looks like they're doing it with ease it's hard okay and it's okay if you only do 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, literally whatever you want. It, it could be five minutes, whatever you want to build up from. But yeah, so I just recently started doing 30. Anyways, that's the update for now. I'll catch y'all in a bit.
Hi cuties, so I'm just finishing up my work day and then we are going to my sister's house for um, a little family dinner. I'm really excited because my brother-in-law is making brisket, which will be so nice. And then we have to dip out a little bit early because then we have an engagement party. So we're going to Max friend Brody and his fiance Emma's engagement party, which I'm really looking forward to because I got to spend some time with them at the wedding a couple weeks ago or whenever that was, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, oh my gosh, it was September 10th. Anyways. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I Today was good. I worked from home in the, in the morning. Then I went to work at the library, but it was closed for Truth and Reconciliation Day, which I should have known. So then I walked to Starbucks. So that means I had two Starbucks today, which is fine. Another thing that I realized is that my hair wash day is actually Sunday, not Saturday. So the other day I was like, oh, my hair's looking pretty good. That's crazy. It's lasted so long. No, we still have today, tomorrow, and then we wash on Sunday. So I put it in a ponytail. It's kind of weird, like this side is like straight with a little curl in, then this side still has curls. So it's a bit lopsided, but that's okay. We're just going with it. I don't have any plans tomorrow, so it's fine. We'll just have greasy hair. I'm going to the gym, so it's definitely gonna be greasy, and then we'll wash it on Sunday. So yeah, I had a good work day, got what I needed to get done, and now I'm excited for the weekend. Um, yeah, tonight is like my big night and then tomorrow gym. And then Sunday, Mac and I are gonna go to Costco. Fun fact, Mac has never come to Costco with me. I always go on my own. I like it, but it's actually like manual labor. Like it's hard, right? And so I told him that he needs to start coming with me because he has no choice. So I'm looking forward to that because we have no food in our house, like literally no food. We haven't been to Costco in quite a while, so. That should be nice. I'm excited for a little Costco date and I'm excited to just like replenish food because yeah, we have, it's slim pickings over here. We have like nothing. So anyways, um, yeah, I'll probably check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning well i guess it's not morning anymore it is 12 50 but i just went to the gym and i had a nice little workout and then afterwards i went to blush lane because i needed some lunch and we also needed some dinner because we're gonna go to costco tomorrow so our fridge is pretty bare so i'll show you what i got from blush lane so i got this salad it is a buffalo chickpea quinoa bowl from Good Honest Food. It's very good. I've had it before and I haven't had it in a while. And then for dinner tonight, these pizzas were literally half off. And so they were like originally $12 and they were on sale for six, which was amazing, or maybe seven. So I got Mac um, a pepperoni one and I got myself a basil and boccaccini one. And these are Rocky Mountain Flat Bread Company which is in Canmore, and I did not know that they did like frozen pizza. So anyways, that's good. And then I randomly picked up some falafel mix because I like, we like to eat falafel and oftentimes we'll make them pre-made or we'll buy the pre-made ones. But this is really simple because you just add water and then you fry them up. So I thought that would be good. And then I was out of this creamer. So I had to get some more because this is the best and I have to just, you know, get my pumpkin spice in while I can. Um, I am about to, I'm going to eat lunch and then I'm going to meet my friend Steph for a walk at 1.30. We're meeting at Monogram because they have their pumpkin spice latte out and it's always really good. So we're going to get that and then we're going to go for a walk. I'm excited to see her because she's been in Germany for I think like a month and a half um, visiting her boyfriend. So that will be nice. And it kind of came up last minute. She just texted me yesterday and she was like, I'm back home. Would you happen to be free? And I was, so I'm really looking forward to that. And it's a really nice day out. So I'm sure it's gonna be great, but I'm starving. So I'm gonna eat this bowl now. What's it like inside your mind, my friends so it's October 1st which means the summer clothes are going away I guess summer and spring and the fall winter clothes are here so this is what we're currently working with I just took out all of the like very summery stuff out of my closet I keep like basics and you know like layering 
tank tops and stuff like that. But that's in this pile here. That's some laundry right there. Don't look at the hangers, they're out of control. And then this is what's left. So we've got quite a bit of room to fill with sweaters and stuff. Um, again, my heel rack is just uh, not really that organized, is it? So I'm going to put away my open-toed heels as well. And this workout stuff kind of stays the same. But um, yeah, I'm excited to do the switch over. I also, whenever I do this, I try and purge items that I don't want. Because when you're going through it, like even when I was putting away some of this stuff, I was like, is it even worth putting away some of the stuff? Because I haven't, like there's some things that I literally pulled out of that bin and never wore this season. Let's get down to the old 7 -Eleven. I could use a cigarette and just a little time alone with you. We just gotta learn to live with blowing up I guess. We're just kicking bricks. Yeah, that's just how it is. morning cuties it is sunday morning and i really need to wash my hair like it's a it's a it's a need and not a want today is finally hair wash day um i didn't do too great this week i'm gonna be honest um i struggle with i don't know exactly if it's like a dry scalp or if it's dandruff or it's psoriasis or like exactly what it is I should probably see a dermatologist for that but I have like a flaky scalp. And so not only do I have to deal with my hair getting greasy, but I also have to deal with little flakes coming in, which is just, it's just a lot to deal with. Like seriously, I was saying to Mac the other day that like, it honestly probably is something to do with like my scalp because I was saying to him like everything, like every, I have so many, <laughs> back it up Mel. I have so many skin issues. Trigger warning if you're triggered by talk of like skin issues, because honestly I am, so I don't know why I'm talking about this because it would trigger me in someone else's video, but I just have so many skin issues. And even things that like I don't really talk about because they're gross. So for example, if we just go top to bottom, I mean bottom to top on my feet. Recently I had a wart that I bought wart remover. And I, ha I thought that I would freeze it off like one time. I used to have them as a kid, but I did it like one time. I thought that that would be enough. No, no, I've been doing it. Like I've been freezing it off, like I think maybe four or five times now. And it's almost gone. But anyways, that's just really gross and annoying, especially because they're contagious. So Mac is like, get your feet away from me. And then I also just discovered that I have corns on my feet. First of all, why would you name it corns? That is disgusting. So I, okay, because I walk a lot, I definitely have like, um, like a, like really thick, oh God, this is so gross. On my big toes, I have like quite large like calluses and I always jokingly call them my bunions. Um, but they're definitely not bunions because bunions are like your bone anyways. When I was at the wedding a couple weeks ago, I was talking about this because the girl that we were with, she was talking about how she has legit bunions. And I was like, oh, I always say I like have bunions, haha, but I know that they're not. And she was like, oh, you have corns. She like used to be, um, do a lot of like promo stuff and she would be in heels a lot. And she was like, yeah, I would get that because it's like just prolonged rubbing of like or whatever. So she's like, you can get like corn remover. So back to shoppers I go and I got some corn remover and I've been using that stuff religiously but it's like kind of just like peeling it's like salicylic acid so it's kind of peeling it all off so like my feet are in a state right now so let's just move on from that okay and then 
I have keratosis pilaris, which as a kid was really bad and like as a teenager. So the backs of my arms, the backs of my legs, it's kind of like chicken skin. I'm sure like when I was really dealing with it, I feel like no one knew what it was, but now I feel like people know what it is and there's like products at Sephora for it and stuff, but it's gotten a lot less. But again, that's been like a huge problem for me. Okay, then face. Oh no, wait, hands. <laughs> eczema, really bad eczema on my hands. When I'm stressed, you can tell. Like if you wanna know how I'm doing mentally, just look at my hands and see how my eczema is doing. It's mainly on my right hand and it's like, it's actually doing pretty good right now, so I'm pretty good. But it's like here, here, and then randomly up here. You can kind of see the redness right there. Anyway, so my hands, bad, 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 bad. Face, acne, scalp, some sort of a dry scalp situation. I don't know what the fuck. God gives the hardest battles to the strongest soldiers. Anyways, it was just something that I kind of like realized the other day that like a lot of the issues that like kind of like health or like, I guess it's like health slash beauty, I don't know, are all to do with my skin. I forgot I was making Max and coffee. I just got really passionate about talking about my skin issues. Um, anyways. Mac and I are going to Costco, which I'm really excited about because as you know, this is Mac's first time going to Costco. So I'm a little bit nervous that he's going to be like, what is this crazy place? What is this crazy place? But I think it's going to be fun. We made a list um, so that we don't go overboard. It's 9 a.m. We were trying to go for 9 because that's when it opens, but we did not succeed. Costco. Dill pickle salad times two because the best eggs we love getting like a huge flat of eggs so that when we have zero food we at least have eggs we're gonna get a rotisserie chicken because they're really good they're like eight dollars and we'll do dill pickle salad rice and chicken for dinner tonight we're gonna stock up on some condiments so we're gonna do mustard barbecue sauce and then there's that really good qp sesame sauce it's like the same brand of the mayo that emily mariko does anyways it's really good i've shown it on the vlogs before but it's delicious Almond milk. I'm gonna get some like non-refrigerated almond milk because I always am like, oh, gotta go to Starbucks because I'm out of almond milk, but I'm just gonna put a bunch like in our pantry. Pasta. I love getting like the big packs of pasta. Frozen fruit, frozen broccoli, pretzels, hummus, big flat of tomato paste, Parmesan cheese, laughing cow cheese, pork shoulder to make uh, pulled pork again because it was really good. Big thing of chicken breasts, so I'm gonna freeze some of them. Tortillas. So that's the plan. Um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I think it's been a long one and I think that you'll enjoy what's in this vlog. So anyways, um, yeah, I talked a lot about my hair in this vlog. Um, stay on this journey with me. Let me know if there's anything that you do to prolong the life of your hair wash days because yeah, she's on the journey right now. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you. Um, I can see that a lot of people watch my videos that aren't subscribed, so you sneaky little things, please subscribe. It really helps me, and I'm almost at 1,000, which your girl's gonna get monetized soon, which I'm so excited for, and thank you for watching my videos to make that possible. So anyways, I will catch you in my next vlog. Bye! What's inside your mind, my dear?